Hey everybody, if you're wondering what a flower farmer does during the fall and winter, well, let me just show you today. I thought I would take you around because we are definitely not resting by the fireplace or sipping hot cocoa. We are working to get spring blooms ready. So let me just uh, give you a sneak peek of what I'm doing today. So the first thing on the list today is to get the rest of the dahlia tubers Put away and stored for winter. We've already dug them, set them out, let them dry, and I'll show you what I've done with the other ones and how I store them. So let me take you real quick into the cooler and show you that. Okay, so we're in the cooler room and this is how I store my dahlia tubers. I just put them in some soil medium and we lightly cover them and I put a lid on them in these plastic containers. And I just keep a check. You definitely don't want moisture buildup because it will cause them to rot and the soil is kind of damp. So you want the soil to dry out, but not too much. It's kind of a, it's kind of a happy dance here, a balance between too dry and too wet. You just want them to stay a little moist so they don't dry out and shrink, but you don't want them to get too wet while they rot. So I'm just gonna take the lids off of these for a little while set those down and I might have to put a little bit more soil in that one but this one's good see that's kind of dry a little moist to the touch but dry enough where it's not going to rot so I've got about four more containers of these to do and then we'll store them in the cooler room to keep them cool and hydrated and then we'll replant those in the spring. And if you're wondering about separating the dahlia tubers, I will separate these, but I'll do that in the spring. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and um, store them like they are with the label so I'll know what uh, variety it is. And then in the spring, you'll be able to see the eyes better to know which ones have an eye. And I'll make a video about that too, in case you're wondering, that one may not be any good. But anyway, so we're gonna get the rest of these dahlia tubers put up. are checked off of the list. They're officially tucked in for the winter. They will only be in there for a few months and I'll get them back in the ground again. But I have moved all of my seedlings out from under the grow lights and most of these are ready to go out in the field. And by the way, it's December here in Florida, but we've had a seasonably warm December, so I've waited a little bit to get all these guys in the ground. I've put some in the ground, but um, most of them I've waited because you don't want these cool hardy annuals to get too warm. They can take our winters here and then we'll have very early spring blooms. So I'll take you out in the garden and show you where I'm gonna put these and the ones I've already planted. So we'll walk out here to the garden. It's a beautiful day here. It's supposed to be up to about 72 and you can see some of the clouds. We have just a slight chance of rain. But all in all, it's the perfect day to work. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get everything put in the garden before the cold winter. Our coldest uh, weather here in Florida doesn't arrive until January, February. So that gives us a very long growing season. All right, so I've still got some things that I haven't cleaned up yet, but I was letting all that go to seed. But you can see a lot of stuff overwintering. This is the yarrow. It's beautiful. It's actually still blooming, which is crazy. And then um, I've got seedlings to replace these little spots, fill them back in. Let me show you another bloom here. Yarrow makes a lovely, lovely bouquet filler. And then I'll take the rest of the celosia out down there. Whoops. Versus, oh, and get a sneak peek of the greenhouse project. You'll have a video of showing the rest of that coming up soon. But you can see I've been taking stuff out. My calendula is doing well. So I've never grown calendula before. So this was just kind of a little test area um, to see how it would do. And it's beautiful. 
Have you guys ever grown calendula before? I heard that its vase life is not that great though, so I don't know if I will actually grow a crop of it this next year, but you know, I just wanted to try it and see what it does. But guys, it is almost, it's 10 days till Christmas. And look at this, amazing. Another variety over here, so pretty. It's nice to see flowers this time of year. I miss them. I miss when everything's not in bloom. This bed, I've just seeded a bunch. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, Nigella, loving a mist. And these are Scabiosa seedlings that I just transplanted just last night. So they'll perk up here in a little bit. And then I've got a bunch more going there. Got to pull the rest of the zinnias out. I've cleaned the beds up. I've got some azuratum that's overwintering there. And as I was saying, I've cleaned the beds out, but you still have weeds that will pop up or stray seeds that have blown in the wind. And you know, you'll have like some zinnias pop up or whatever because we're still having seasonally, seasonably warm temperatures. So I'll just have to come along and pop those out. Got a stray snapdragon blooming. December, guys. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh, but I've got. A lot of snapdragon transplants that are going to go in this row right here. Then I've got straw flower. Some of it's still hanging on, but I've got all new seedlings to be transplanted in the straw flower bed. So I just wanted to show you the orange tree. Look at that. Jeez. Now these beds are a hot mess right now because this is where I just dug all the dahlias. So I'll come back in here, weed everything, rake it all out fertilize, straighten up the irrigation, make any repairs that need to be made. Um, they do get holes every now and again from just wear and tear or maybe I accidentally stuck a rake through it or whatever. So we'll repair everything, check everything, and then we'll start planting all of our hardy annuals to overwinter so we will have spring blooms. As you can see, our flower farmer's work is never done because you're always looking for the next season. You plant way ahead to get, you know, things to overwinter so you'll have early spring blooms and yeah, not much rest around here, but I love it. I love growing beautiful things for people that make them happy. Uh, next on the list today is to get all these guys, all the transplants put into the field. So just wanted to let you guys tag along and just see what I was up to in the month of December. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next video and remember bloom where you're planted.